this is my first try I mean I did some measuring last weekend went home made all this hoping and praying when I got down here all the holes lined up and it was gonna fit Whew, thank you Lord somebody was looking after me it all lined up on here and bolted straight on with the engine mounting Okay, well I may have identified a, a pending problem here. So the uh, this engine was obviously designed to go in a gang mower, John Deere gang mower tractor. And uh, it's brand new, it's a Lombardini. And they do fit them in boats, but um, it wasn't marinized, so I had to marinize it myself. So what I did was I um, put in a Bowman heat exchanger, and so it has fresh water circulating through the engine, through the heat exchanger, and we have a seawater pump, and that runs off the camshaft, which um, it goes across the top of the engine here. And if I get a bit of light in there, apart from somebody's stolen my torch, here we go, there's a bit of light there. And this, this is the seawater pump, and it joins into the engine back here, so there's no belt, it's mechanically driven, I made a a sort of a little dog that joins this to the camshaft and it works really well in Northern Europe but I do notice that at the beginning of the year when the water's cold the engine does run cooler than it runs at the end of the summer when the water's at its hottest now don't get me wrong it doesn't overheat but it runs hotter and uh, so being as we're heading for tropical climes where the water is going to be much hotter I'm worried about it overheating and uh, the, the issue is that the pump that pump that's at the back there runs at half half of the speed of the crankshaft it runs at half engine speed because that's what the camshaft does so if you if you don't know about that sort of stuff just don't worry just take on board that that runs at half the engine speed so what I'm now going to do is I'm putting a pump on the front of the engine here and it's going to be belt driven and it'll run at the same speed as the engine and deliver twice the water pretty much so that'll be great so I'm going to have a belt that goes round this pulley this is the alternator making our electricity round that pulley and then round the water pump pulley and the, the only problem is that um, so what you there is a problem but I'll tell you in a second when you put the belt on this alternator swings out and tightens the belt up which is great my problem is if anything goes wrong with the alternator if the bearing goes in it and we can't run it then I can't I haven't got a water pump so what I need is I'm going to have a belt that will go round all three and then a shorter belt that will just do this one and the water pump but that means I've got to have mount the water pump and it has to be mounted on a sort of a thing that turns like the alternator to be able to tension the belt up and then if there's something's gone wrong with the alternator we can at least run the water pump on its own and uh, and of course I'll have these belts anyway so if something goes wrong with the water pump we can still run the alternator so we're kind of belt and braces that way so what I've made I mean I hid it under here because I didn't want it to be distracting while I was trying to explain what's happening what I've made I've got a piece of box section metal and I've just cut a chunk out of it here and it's picked up this engine mounting here and down here and it's really solid it's a decent piece of steel and then on the end here I put a hinge and we've got this bit that goes up and down and as you can see here is our water pump mounted to this flat metal plate so the adjuster is here and this runs in here so I'm going to try and set the camera up so you can see when I put this on and you'll get a bit of an idea of how this will work this is my first try I mean I did some measuring last weekend went home made all this hoping and praying when I got down here all the holes lined up and it was going to fit. Whew, thank you Lord, somebody was looking after me. It all lined up on here and bolted straight on with the engine mounting. And um, so uh, let's hope the pulley lines up with these as well. So we'll see what happens. Bear with me, I'm going to have to uh, put this somewhere where you can get a view. There we go, that's the bolt through there. And we can tighten this one up once it's in position so what we can do is we can um, we can put the belt on and um, 
and then slide this back this way to tension the belt and then lock these nuts up and uh, lock the hinge up as well. So that's the kind of the, the plan. So that's how that will work. And so for a pulley, what I've got is this. Right, here we go. So what you do is you buy whatever diameter pulley you want. And uh, they come in all different sizes of, of diameters. And then you buy a center separately with the correct hole in it for the shaft. So this just slides over the shaft. And as you can see, it's got a split in it here. And when you tighten everything up, it squeezes it down and grips the shaft really tight. So what you do is you've got your pulley like this that there's some um, in this hole here there's a thread and in that groove there there's a thread and you put that on there and then you've got a little grub screw that you screw in one each side and when you tighten these grub screws up what it does is it locks that to this and this to the shaft I mean it's a really neat idea so this just slides on like that. Oh, that's it, yep, that's it. So now I need to measure this up and get a long enough belt to go around all three. I mean, it's not perfect because it comes off here and it'll come up here and over. It doesn't really, doesn't grip the alternator belt that well, or the alternator pulley that well. It's not that much belt on the pulley, but this alternator is only charging the engine starting battery. So it shouldn't have too much work to do. It's not like it's got to charge a big house bank or anything so that should be fine I was more worried about the belt gripping this pulley and gripping the crankshaft pulley here so it's got plenty of belt on the crankshaft because it starts touching here and it'll finish about here and then it'll start touching here and it'll finish about here so that should be plenty of grip to turn that and this will spin and uh, water in and water out so I'm going to keep the one at the back I won't leave it on because I want to run it dry but uh, I'm going to keep that pump, we can use that to bolt it back on if we get really stuck with anything. And of course we've got our electric pump. So I'm quite pleased with that, that looks good. And that's all adjustable. It still lines up when I've got it adjusted. Oh yeah, yeah it's all running pretty straight. So that should be pretty good. We now need to decide how long a V-belt we need. And that's quite complicated. So, what we will do is measure around here with a piece of string. And now I'm going to measure how long this bit of string is. And, measure. So that's 860 mil long. So 860 mil, and obviously the belt is going to sit on quite a bit of the pulley. So I've got to estimate because you measure the back of the belt here. So I've got to estimate how far it's off. So that's going to be. straight along there and then go up to there. So that's quite a bit of that one. And then not so much of this one up here. Um, so I'm going to add 40 mil mil, 40 mil, 20 mil. I'm going to add 100 mil. So that's 960. So I'm going to order a 960 belt. And uh, I'll do that, pick that up on Monday when I go home. And then when I come back down next Friday, keep our fingers crossed that it'll fit. It'll be perfect. What could possibly go wrong? Here we are back at the water pump again. So, uh, 
As I mentioned previously, I want to be able to drive the alternator on its own because if the water pump bearing goes, and I can't run this water pump, I need to be able to drive the alternator on its own. If the alternator bearing goes, I want a belt that I can put across here to drive the water pump on its own. And in a perfect world, with everything running, I want a belt that will drive all three. So I bought two more belts down, and we're going to see... Uh, I'm going to loosen the alternator off a bit. I'm going to see if they fit. around the water pump on its own. Silly bit. Okay, there we go. So I've got plenty of uh, adjustment left. So this belt is uh, good enough to drive the water pump on its own. That's perfect. That'll do me nicely. So all I need now is one that will drive all three. And so I've got this one. Unfortunately, it didn't have the one I wanted, which was uh, a 960. So I've got um, this one here which is a 975, which may be a fraction too long, but let's have a look and see. Oh, I've got some adjustment left, that's going to work. It's coming a bit close here for the steps to go in, but... Yeah, 960 would have been better if I... I'm, I think I'm going to change this one for a 960, but that would work 975, so that will drive all three. And it hasn't got the best bearing for driving the alternator, but the alternator doesn't have generally a lot of work to do because it's only charging the uh, cranking battery. And unless that's desperately low, well, it won't be charging very high, so uh, so that should cope with it. We'll see if, if it presents a problem, uh, then I'll have to think of something else. I'll have to put a little, uh, put a little idler in here so that uh, pull that down now we've got a more bearing surface around here but I'd, I'd rather run it without an idler it's just simpler it's just something else to go wrong but that's pretty straightforward and I've got lots of options now so I'm pleased with that so by next weekend I should have a better belt for here we can take the we can take the old pump off the back put a blanking plate on and we can run this one excellent that's looking pretty good, I'm pleased with that, so I just want a coat of paint now and uh, get it all set up. I'm going to tighten this pulley up, yeah. The pipes are all plug and play, so I'll just show you what I've got in the way of um, how this works. So, this is the raw water pump here. This is an adjustable elbow on it. And this is a push fit, so the pipe just plugs right in and then if we want to, we can unplug it. So. Uh, I'll take the pipes off the, they'll just unplug out of the old one because that's all plug and play and plug straight into here, in and out. That'll be nice. And that's made quite a reasonable job there, hasn't it? I'm really pleased with that. That was uh, lucky it all fitted just first go seemingly. Okay, we need more. Uh... <laughs> no. Okay.